Actually, let me just confirm that these guys want to do a best of five, and then we'll get into Ocelon versus Breezy. Uh, it's pretty exciting to have Ocelon back on live stream show matches because he's one of the most uh, dominant players in the EU1 scene historically, uh, but not so he's not so active recently in ones with a focus on 3v3. He is an RLRS in Europe, so he's doing pretty good there as well. Um, and Breezy still looking for his first big show match win. Let's see how he does today against Ocelon, who's definitely the favorite going into this one. Dibi94, thanks to the uh, three-month prime, by the way. I do appreciate that. And to Deco, thanks to the 10-month tier one. Appreciate you. And the real Josh as well with the 14-month prime. Welcome, guys, to the stream today. And also thanks to Johnny. Uh, it's not me thanking myself here. No, somebody has joined the YouTube channel under name, or their account name is Johnny. So thanks, Johnny. Um, I do appreciate that. From one Johnny to another. I don't know if there's, um, you know, resub notifications or rejoin notifications for... Oh, that's a great shot by Oslon, uh for YouTube. So I... Oh, fantastic shooting and also good saves by Breezy. Not enough power in the counter shot. But let me calm down here, boys. I want to explain something. So I don't know if they, um, if YouTube join, like, people who join multiple times in a row give multiple notifications. Because I know that I've seen a lot of people in my YouTube comments with like little badges, rank badges next to their names, um, who, you know, I, I haven't seen pop up in my notifications for joining the YouTube channel recently. So I think it's probably just um, a bug on YouTube's end or like a way that they've put it together that it makes it difficult for me to know when people rejoin. So sorry if I don't thank you for rejoining. It's not me. Uh, I just look at the page and refresh it and see if anybody news at the top. But I guess maybe rejoining doesn't always work. Anyway, just thought I'd really quickly explain that because I don't. I would hate for somebody to think I'm ignoring them. So I am not. I do appreciate everybody who supports the uh, stream on the YouTube channel. Wave dashes for us all on second one. Actually, not going to connect, but was probably going to be saved by Breezy either way. He's off to a great start here, 2-0. Remember, also had a pretty slow start against Jay Walls for coming back in a reverse sweep, so this is not going to be an issue for him at all. He's one of the most solid players in the scene, and always has been, but I'll tell you what, Breezy's bringing it to him right now, and the close shadowing of Ocelon does concede him a goal here. And that'll be 3-0. Ocelon, if he wants to shadow um, when Breezy's got that much momentum, he needs to move back at least a little bit more. Because that is uh, way, way too close. Got caught off guard there. Yeah, this is on EU server. Breezy, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, he, he has played on stream before against Ixo. And he didn't... Uh, I don't think he was able to get a game win, but I mean, Ixo's an absolute monster, so it's not saying much. And you can see Breezy's playing a really good series here and a really good game, at, at least, against Ocelon. About to make it 4-0. Ocelon can't keep that one out, and it's been stellar goalkeeping for Breezy so far. And zero overcommits on offense. Fantastic stuff. 4-0. Um, but yeah, Breezy did get top 10 in the 1v1 ladder towards the end of last season. Um, and as we all know, it's more difficult to get to the top of the ladder towards the end of the season. As those uh, rank points begin to stretch up a little bit more and you need to get more points just to get up to the 10th or uh, above. So I was pretty impressed with Breezy for being able to get up there. I've been aware of him for quite a while because he is one of the um, players who's played in the Gfinity Elite series, which I do cast when, they, when they're when they running their seasons. He was the substitute player for Excel, uh, if anybody remembers that team. Marky did a Niels... Put, uh, Niels and Pondix, and after a while he subbed in for Marky Duda for the GP Elite Series. That's where he made his like real um, debut professionally. Good demo by Ocelon. Should be getting a second goal here, and he will. Nice control as he gets around the ball on both sides. and makes it a two goal game. Hey Jogstrap, thanks for the 34 month in a row. Switch Prime, you have the same shirt. No way. <laughs> it's I have really comfortable. I love, I love these shirts. Fantastic. Not sponsored, by the way. Uh, Casey Dia, thanks to the Prime sub and Giants Bro 2113. Welcome to the Prime as well. Appreciate all of you guys. Okay, Breezy actually going to play the ball. Holy cow. That is really, really fresh to see. We usually just see the demo run here every single time. But Breezy just plays the ball. <laughs> Look at that for a tight angle shot. 5 2. But I'm honestly just more impressed that he actually had the confidence to go for the ball there. That was ridiculous. He didn't go for a 50-50. He didn't 
tried to go for a demo play or a bumping play on the back wall or even just a drive-by fake challenge. He just had the guts to dive in there and go for a tight angle rebound. Beautiful challenge by Oslon off the ceiling or off the wall rather. Breezy was trying to get something started up high. Frame rate bad. Oh, sorry if I drop frames. I've got like uh, family visiting, so they're probably all downloading YouTube or watching YouTube videos at the same time in HD um, and causing my internet to lag. Hopefully that doesn't happen too much. Uh, uh, apologies for that. Promise uh, it's not me. Breezy's looking fantastic today. I didn't think he played a bad series against Ixo when he lost to him on stream. Um, and Ixo at that point was popping off insanely often. But this is definitely a step up for Breezy. He is looking so clean. And Ocelon must be a little bit surprised by this. There's a nice reverse flick from Breezy. Ocelon's going to stop that one. And he's wave dashed into position for the catch. Breezy didn't see that one coming. Ocelon makes it three goals in the orange net. And this game is getting very interesting. This time Breezy was on the wrong side of a mind game. As Ocelon popped it over his head. I can see this one going quite the distance if uh, Breezy is able to take this game because Ocelon has got some serious reverse sweeping potential. He's got a style that's really difficult to come back against. If you're behind 1-0 against Ocelon, he can make that look like a far like larger lead. Um, it's not fun to play against when he's on form. A minute on the clock. Ocelon has a tight angle rebound. He decides to chip it instead of booming it. And there's the rebound, which he will put on target. So Ocelon's done enough here. He didn't have the confidence to shoot that one with a boomer. But by chipping it on target, he made sure that his recovery would be good. There's a good chance Breezy's recovery would be a bad one. And that's giving him a fourth goal. Chance for Ocelon to come back in game one. Not my, never mind, come back later in the series. He's overran his dribble just a little bit, but the flick will get Breezy to lose control. There's no air dribble bump coming in, but there's a dunk for Ocelon. And he's back within one. Breezy must know that Ocelon is pretty scary with his air dribble bumps. But after the failed takeoff, Ocelon just leans back into it and gets a huge block on it. Nicely done with the hitbox. 38 seconds left. Ocelon wins the kickoff. What a turn of events we've had here. It was a four goal game. Now, only one. Ocelon tries the turtle flick. It's not going to pay off this time. Now Breezy with a chance to make it much more difficult going into the final 22 seconds. He will. How about that for a powerful flick? Breezy is going very straight here. And it's difficult to generate tons of power on those when you are going directly at your opponent's net. Breezy's done just that. And I think he's probably just saved his game one win here. Ocelon is going to try to go all in. With another air double dunk. Oh, it's on the goal line. Surely Ocelon could put this in. Backflip shot. Breezy saves it. And that'll be a game one win for Breezy. Surely now. Scenes at the end. But although Ocelon brought it close, it was just a little bit too late. Another good save by Breezy. Will make it a two-goal game right until the end. And Ocelon's up against it here. Good stuff by the underdog. Renegade Cup Elite. I wonder, I've never seen this title before. Is that just me that gets that one? When I try and save a replay, it doesn't let me auto just type in the box. I have to click on the box before I can type there. I don't like it. Andrew Padgy, thanks to the 21 month in a row prime. I appreciate that. Okay, the, the boys are going to get the correct kickoff spawn. I did put, yeah, I did put 1 0 breezy. Excellent. All right. Let's see if we can keep this up. Ocelon almost had to come back in the last game. A Breezy is off to a good start yet again. This is faster than he had last time. Why is everybody asking if it was pre-recorded? <laughs> yeah, of course it's pre-recorded. Or scripted, or one of the, you know, one or the other. Uh, but yeah, after this, guys, we are gonna have another ones series on stream, so you're gonna have plenty of 1v1 to enjoy today. The return of Chronic. And he'll be going against AJ. Return of AJ as well. Beautiful air dribble by Ocelon. Let's take another look at this one. Spiraling into it, not once but twice. And as the last touch goes over the top of Breezy, 
it was just underneath the crossbar. I've broken the pre-recorded Johnny has broken the fourth wall, exactly. The easy kickoff goal is gonna keep the pressure up. I mean, what are you guys thinking so far? Do you think Breezy's gonna take this or do you think Oslon's gonna come back? This seems like a good time to ask with Breezy being ahead in game two. Um, because Oslon did get a reverse sweep the last time he played on stream. Breezy's looking very clean today. Um, it's not gonna be easy to beat him in this form. Double touch saved by Oslon off the crossbar. Breezy's wasted a little bit of time here. Oslon has got the flip reset available. He's gonna use it for a wave dash actually. Ocelon's going to win in Game 5. A lot of people still have faith in Ocelon. I think Breezy's popping, so probably him. We'll have to wait and see how this one finishes off. And when we get to the business end of a series, it does help to have experience in the live stream show match environment. Ocelon straight down the middle ties things up. Breezy should have probably had a save here, given how low Ocelon's flick was. Um, did he just dodge the wrong way? Oh no, yeah, he didn't dodge. Double jump as well. I think if he dodged there, he would have had it. It looked like a, a saving angle was lined up. Breezy's falling off his high horse. What, was he ever on a high horse? I'm Jake, so thanks for the two month prime. Welcome to the stream. The worrying thing for Breezy right now is that he has kind of conceded control of the match to Ocelon, who's running the ball around wherever he wants. Crossbar down flick. Even faster than the one we saw from Breezy earlier. <laughs> Ocelon does have one of the most terrifying flicks in the world. A few of which we've been seeing recently on stream. And there is another goal for Ocelon. Mind Games, J uh, Mind Games Breezy, sorry, Jables is the last time player Ocelon played on stream. Johnny Boy went to Harvard. I did not go to Harvard, no. I went to a much more prestigious university, Strathclyde. <laughs> Very, uh... Very prestigious stuff. <laughs> As all of my Scottish and UK brethren will know. The game's getting pretty violent all of a sudden. Breezy's been trying to sneak into demo and bump spots. But Ocelon finds one. And he finds the top corner with a flick afterwards. That is gorgeous. Breezy was trying to get into a position to shadow. It is straight over his head. Before he can get up into the air. Three minutes in, and Ocelon's taking control. Wacky Stick 8, thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, welcome to the stream. Is there a prize pool? Nah, sorry, there's no uh, prize pool today. Well, I mean, not yet. <laughs> you never know, because people have been pretty crazy recently. Yeah, the last three show matches in a row have all had prize pools getting bigger and bigger as we uh, did them, but I mean, for this one to go bigger than the previous one would be unheard of. No, surely not. Ocelon makes it 5-2. Breezy. Way too greedy with the boost. And he's out of position yet again. Now this is looking very different um, from the first game. Breezy was on the goal line ready to at least attempt to save a lot of Ocelon's shots in uh, game one. But now in game two, Ocelon has either got Breezy off the goal line by just forcing him there or bumping him or demoing him. Um, or Breezy's kind of just found himself a little bit out of position, so he's got to be a little bit more careful with his uh, positioning here. Ocelon is going to try and bait him out of position more and more as we go here. Hesitation by Breezy, which Ocelon will capitalize on. And inside the second half of the game now, it's still Ocelon leading by two. Two kickoff goals for Breezy have get this one relatively close. Flip reset for Breezy! We'll make it even closer! Wow, that is... Just astonishing. Ceiling bounce, red, no problem. We saw from Ocelon's perspective, he couldn't really tell if Breezy had the flip reset or not. Just had to jump up and hope for the best. And that could be a huge turning point. Kickoffs have been going pretty well for Breezy for the most part. He tries to line up the bump, Ocelon dodges it, but Breezy goes for the ball after the bump play doesn't line up. Ocelon still control of this one. Straight dribble. Breezy didn't even have to fake a challenge that time. Ocelon getting a little jumpy here. There is a fake challenge for Breezy, which fails and Ocelon parks the car and rolls it in. It's another mind game. Ocelon in the lead by two again. Breezy is completely falling for that one. A <laughs> full rotation for Ocelon just to really sell the fake air roll shot as much as possible. Kept on going way beyond what he had to. Okay, that's one... 
more kickoff goal for Breezian. I don't know if this was a read or just a little bit fortunate because <laughs> Breezy could have been beaten to that ball by Ocelon, who did land closer. But Breezy either just read that Ocelon didn't have a lot of boost saved up or he decided to just go for it anyway, just make the ball chase play happen. No late dodge for Breezy, but there's a pop, actually, into the bar. Ocelon almost making contact with the midair. Single goal separates him. What a huge game this would be for Breezy if he can come back and win it. Ocelon grabs his boost. I do not know that Breezy's still got a lot of boost himself, and Ocelon needs to be careful. There's full rotation out of flick from Breezy. Up high. Ocelon will save those no problem. Ocelon knows that Breezy's got all the boost in the world here, but he just runs right in front of him. And Breezy ties it up. That's so careless oh, by Ocelon. About Strathy. I'm about just to walks start year two there. straight XD into him. Strathy. Here's some of my student loan lol. Oh, you thanks to the three quid of your student loan. Here, you should be keeping your student loan for yourself, mate. <laughs> You're going to have to pay that back one day. Don't give it to me. <laughs> I'm not going to pay it back. <laughs> I've got to pay back my student loan. Uh, don't worry. I'm, I'm very proud of my Strathclyde heritage. It's great fun. Oh dear, Ocelon has completely been an open net. That was about as open as you can get with all the time in the world. And now Breezy is looking threatening at the other end. That flicks on target. Ocelon will put it into the bar and get a good recovery though. Wow, what an interesting game we have here. Ocelon looked like he was plain sailing. But that open net miss combined with a couple of wonderful goals by Breezy. I've really got a sink in now that might not be Ocelon's day. Can he get himself back into this one? Back into a winning position. Breezy did what he couldn't do in game one, and that's close the lead. Make it a tie game again. Great flick by Ocelon. Breezy's not landed the best possible way that he could have. But Ocelon is not able to get a good shot on target. Good enough, rather. Now, here comes Breezy with all the boost at the midfield. And he's up by one with three seconds left. Ocelon gives himself a great pass. I don't know what he was thinking there with a the double jump. Because now we have got a one goal lead for Breezy. And Ocelon is looking rough here. There's some unforced errors creeping into his play. He's got no boost to do anything here. And Breezy's just going to secure game two. Look at that, guys. This is quite the upset. Ocelon falls in yet another game. And really weird one as well. I mean, you could put down the first game of the series to maybe just a bit of a warm-up or, you know, Ocelon starting a bit slow. But this one, he had a lead in. And for Ocelon to lose a lead like that is so rare. One of the best players and just sitting on a 2-3 goal advantage and making it look comfortable uh, is Ocelon. Just doing my quick Yoda impression there. If Breezy was able to get it back with that flip reset. I reckon that might have been the point that... Uh, turn the series around. Breezy gets a flip reset, and then Ocelon starts to make mistakes. No bump this time for Breezy, and that flick is going to be on to the crossbar. Ocelon rebounds it perfectly into the bottom corner. It was enough of a threat. It was close enough to the goal that Breezy felt the need to jump for it. He wasn't sure if it was hitting the bar. Um, it did turn out to be hitting it pretty, pretty flush, actually. There wasn't even an element of a downward bounce. Breezy will feel a little bit hard done by there, though, because he had a massive boost advantage, tried to just bump Ocelon off the ball, uh, and ended up not really doing too much at all. Max Grant, 17, thanks to the two-month prime. Welcome back to the stream, buddy. Pre-recorded, Johnny has broken the fourth wall. Ah, you said that earlier, mate. And now Breezy's one making mistakes. That's just a clean double jump past the ball. Ocelon up by two. And you can't afford to do this kind of thing in a show match of this caliber. This is how games are lost, just like how Ocelon lost the last one with a pass to his opponent in the final few seconds. Uh, Scooby Boom sucks to the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the stream, my man. Ocelon's going to make it 3-0. Pre-recorded, there's visible chat. Yeah. There is indeed a visible chat, so I don't know how the pre-recordedness would, uh, would work here. Let's see if Ocelon can hold on to a three-goal lead this game. I've said that he's good at doing that in the past, but Hello. not so much today. Breezy's got his 
Air dribble going off target. So even though he landed with uh, the bump, it didn't really matter too much. Also, going to try and make a flip reset play happen. And that is just unbelievable. Top corner. And also, I think, managed to one-up Breezy somehow. Breezy coming off the back wall for the save. He didn't even get close because also on's drained it. Very, very close to the corner of the net. Fractional, thanks to the four-month prime, by the way. Welcome. How are you doing today, buddy? Uh, this might be the way that uh, this series gets turned around. We saw game two take a big swing when Bl Breezy landed the flip reset. Now Ocelon's landed one. And he's looking to pop off and secure game three, maybe. To look on to greater things after that. So with that considered, surely a flip reset for Breezy is the way that he can get back into this one. Although game uh, four might be a better place to start because this one is not going to be easy to come back from. Six goal lead now for Ocelon. As Breezy starts to starts to leak a few more goals uh, than he was in the previous matches. Here comes a huge angle change on the air dribble by Breezy. He dunks it in. So it'll be 6-1. We have to see this from Ocelon's POV. A lot of these goals I want to see from the goalkeeper's perspective. You see there that he's been forced onto the back foot so he couldn't jump with momentum. And that really helped Breezy dunk it in. A lot easier to dunk over an opponent who's hardly moving. But we've got plenty of time left in the game. So although Ocelon does have a pretty hefty lead at the moment, it is not over yet. Breezy needs to pop off. There's no doubt about that. Or Ocelon needs to choke. But... It is not over, that is for sure. Recovery by Breezy and a demo. Okay, he's got a chance to run this one in quickly. He decides to take a couple touches. Ocelon dives in for the challenge. Breezy just plays it over him. Now, a chance to go for another aerial play. Ocelon in and out save, and he misses it. 6-2. And Breezy is starting to flex a little bit in game three. What if I uh, had a magic glove for the chat? Well, see, the problem about, <laughs> problem about <laughs> pre recording and reading chat is. I would need to have people planted in the chat, like uh, writing like questions at specific times during the the stream that uh, you know intersect with me pretending to answer that question, but actually I'm just doing a pre-recorded answer that makes sense in the context of the question. It's possible. It is possible. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe we are doing that. Breezy with another axle lock onto Ocelon. On the earlier time in this match that he did this didn't pay off and this is going to be more of the same actually. Fake jump by Arsenal. It doesn't back up Breezy but it does get him to jump in the air. There's two ways to react to a fake jump like that. Either you back off and accept the fact that you've been faked or you rush the ball if you think you can get there before the other player recovers and gets back up into the air again. Breezy's going to play this one out slowly it seems. He doesn't want to rush himself. <laughs> There's a Good pass by Ocelon to Breezy off the inside of the post. But Ocelon's looking very comfortable here. After a couple of good goals by Breezy, it has been back into a midfield battle. Uh, these are the kind of exchanges that you expect Ocelon to come out on top of. It's some more random elements of the game that Breezy have been uh, doing well in. Because you're meant to ask your question after game four or five. <laughs> See, they're, they're definitely going to fall for this one because that's like, this is even discussed. We're going meta now. <laughs> on the fake question. As Breezy concedes an eighth goal. I don't know how he uh, almost saved this one uh, because it looked like it, he just totally beamed the save. And then ended up nearly getting it out. <coughs> Guan, thanks to the 21 month tier one. How you doing? Hope you had a good stream last night. Son, trying to get another fancy goal. He's weave dash it to the bottom to corner. The by wiping out Gives Breezy a free goal with I a double my fingers in five, four. Three, two, I don't believe you. Two, yeah, I, two, I didn't believe you, two, Brian. Two, 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 L underscore. Oh, for goodness sake. L underscore. When, two, who, when, L where did underscore, L underscore come two, from? Who started this? Did it start in my two, stream? Or has that been a thing for two, for a L while? Because it's just a new Twitch two, L spam two, that's getting popular. L underscore. Two, you think XQC's chat? Oh, it's, some, two, it's from XQC's L stream. Let's see. Two, Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. 
Nice little pre-dodge by Breezy. Arslan's going to pinch it clear just to waste some time. Also to give himself some time to get boost. But he should be A-OK -okay here. Breezy's been threatening a few times in this one. But nowhere near enough to close this lead that Arslan's built for himself. It was up to six earlier, which is just a bit too much, I think, for Breezy to come back from uh, in this matchup on this day. And had given how these two are playing. I mean, it's technically not over just yet. That should be one goal, and it will be. Breezy, backflip flick to the top shelf. And if you can get a couple kickoff goals, we are going to have an interesting ending. Let's see how it develops. <laughs> Let's see me wrapping up the BDL underscore question marks. I don't know about that. All right, Breezy's got another chance here. He's got no time to waste, though. Hold on, hold on a second. Oslan gets off his goal line and hesitates to no man's land. It is not over just yet. What was Ocelon stopping for here? He could have just dove in and had a pretty good chance to get a save there. Um, but instead he backs off. And now Breezy's got half a chance. Just needs to put this one in before zero seconds. And this is a good choice to go into the air with it. Ocelon is going to save it though and that's going to confirm game three to Ocelon. But Breezy did make the right decision at the end there just to go straight off the wall into the air. It's a super high risk play usually, but when your only win condition is to score as fast as possible, uh, you've got to make that high risk play. It's a good try there at the end there by Breezy, uh, but also on Will lock in game three. Let me just uh, send a message to Chronic and AJ who are playing next. I'm going to tell him I'm just finishing uh, I'm going to tell them I'm just finishing casting another series right now so that they know what's happening. Breezy down by one again in game uh, four this time. And it will be Ocelon who's getting a good start here. I don't really like that Breezy's giving Ocelon so much space there. He's running all the way back before turning aggressively. Uh, and with how powerful Ocelon's flip game is, how strong his low 50-50 game is. You know, you're running into a lot of problems when you give him that much space to the edge of the box. Ocelon with an open net, which he's ran wide. Not the best control there by Ocelon after an expert bump. Got Breezy out of position. Breezy will say thank you very much for that one. Hopefully for his sake. Get back into semblance of control here. Ocelon is starting to boss this one. You can see that every interaction, every 50-50, every exchange is happening in Ocelon's terms right now. That's, I think, the first touch that he's made, which will not go in his favor, but he manages to play it quite well. Pool shot saved by Breezy. And he retakes control with a delayed dodge. It's a fantastic play by Breezy there. No way that he could have gotten in, in the way of the ball. Flip, flip reset lands, but he's got no boost left. Ocelon gets a clean interception, and Breezy has done a little bit too much here, or tried to do a little bit too much. He didn't have anywhere near enough boost to be making a play like that, in my opinion. When do I stream? Uh, it varies, but yeah, today I think I went live around about nine-ish. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing two show matches and then a RLCS player tier list today. Uh, I, I spent... I spent way longer than is healthy putting together, uh, what do you call it? I'm putting together a tier list in the classic format for uh, our, all the our, all the RLCS season 7 players. I couldn't find pictures for all the South American players and also the um, two of the players from Out of Order, or what are they called, like Grand Zero Gaming from OCE, but I, but I got pictures for all the other players, which should be pretty fun. Um, the time zone now. I'm in uh, UK time zone. The most Western Europe time zone. I think just UK and Portugal are in this one. More passive defending from Ocelon, but Breezy's done a good job hiding behind the ball. That was um, a back off strategy where it was imperative that he doesn't show his hands. Because if Ocelon knows that Breezy's not planning to dodge there, uh, then he just won't dodge himself as well. He'll, he'll also sit behind the ball, but because Breezy was able to get himself completely opposite Ocelon, um, Ocelon wasn't quite sure. He wasn't able to make the correct play in reaction to the 
situation he was in. Another flip reset for Breezy. He's managed to get it over Ocelon somehow. But Ocelon was in a pretty safe place. Didn't have to worry too much with the angle that Breezy had given himself to work with. And that's another demo goal for Ocelon. Inside the first half of the game, Ocelon is up by four. This is uh, you know, sort of what I expected to happen uh, once Ocelon got going this series. But he did get going one game later than uh, we thought he did. <laughs> After Breezy fell behind, behind the game too, somehow bringing it back. <coughs> Who's in the second show match? Uh, it's going to be Chronic versus AJ. AJ's not been on stream for quite a while, if I'm not mistaken. Um, who was the last person that AJ played on stream? Was it First Killer? Was it? I think it might have been. I think it might have been First Killer. The most recent player that AJ played. Uh, that was not a, a win for AJ, of course, but we all know AJ's a uh, pretty beastly ones player when he's in form as well. Before First Killer, actually, AJ had the longest win streak for an NA player on my stream. That's an open net miss for Breezy. Was a bit awkward in the boost he had, but still should be putting that on target. Was it AJ making big donuts the other day? No, that was RJC. Easy to make, uh, easy to mix those two up. RJC was making the big donations for the prize pools. Once again, appreciation to him. First killer nine months ago, the car ten months ago. That's right, yeah. AJ made a you know small comeback just about yeah nine or ten months ago. He played against the car, smashed him, then he played against first killer and got beaten pretty badly. So yeah, that was the last we saw of AJ for a while. But he told me recently he's been back in once hey Johnny, um, and doing pretty well. For being a great commentator. So Love we'll see how he does later on. Oh dear, also on. Taking a bit too long no. with this one, and Breezy's no. going to get back. That could be a big difference to this game. Zoslan really should have scored that. Look, looked like he thought it was already on target. Um, or else he wouldn't have driven the way that he did. Oh, Breezy almost catches Zoslan on the landing. But he's panicked a little bit. Expecting an early shot. Zoslan will pre-dodge into position. Breezy's gotten faked again. Really nicely done by Zoslan. So it is going to be 7-2 eventually. Um, and it's Breezy giving Zoslan that space again. Causing him issues. He did try to half flip here, so I could try. Uh, but no contact once again for Breezy. You love the calm uploads. Yeah, the, uh, the calm series have all been incredible. Um, I don't know how long he's on holiday for actually, but I'm sure we'll be seeing more of him when he gets back. Um, who do you guys want to see calm playing against next? Who's who's the uh, what's the calm matchup that you guys are most looking forward to? Um, I've not asked anybody. I've not uh, planned anything myself. Ethan Bird 1, thanks to the 10 month tier 1, by the way. Appreciate that a lot. Oslan's going to run away with this one, it seems. Theory. I don't know if uh, Calm versus Theory, or how we would do that, because Theory doesn't, uh, want, he doesn't like playing on NA server. And I don't know if Calm playing on EU server would be particularly fair against Theory. Um. But uh, hey, maybe maybe we'll get them both in the same region at some point and we can see what that looks like. Lethemir, yeah, if Lethemir gets back into form, that would be pretty sick. It'd be an interesting one, because Lethemir is a really high-pressure player, so it could be really one-sided in his favor if Leth just decides to pressure the ball 24-7. I don't know if Combs going to be able to deal with that in that matchup. But if Leth decides to try and defend... I don't know how that would uh, don't know how that would work because yeah, players who try and defend against Calm are usually coming out second best. The exception being First Killer at the tail end of their series because it looked like Calm dropped off a little bit when he got to the last few games. The nerves really started to kick in. Uh, Dapper, oh yeah, Dapper's been getting back up there in ones, hasn't he? Well, that's well done by Breezy. Look at that mid-air backflip flick into air dribble this time. And he's already lost this game, but if you're going to just warm warm yourselves up uh, going into the last game of a series, that's one way to do it. It's beautiful stuff. Brutality, thanks for 1590. Arsenal reverse, reverse sweep. Well, it is going to be two all after this one, despite Breezy's best efforts. Oh, a nice little team play there. <laughs> Breezy with the flip reset, backflip flick, dunk to finish this one off. 
Ocelon, uh, I think he tried to save this, but he ended up popping it straight into Breezy and it's gone in. Ten seconds left. There's no way the Breezy can come back this time. Uh, but we are going to see one more between these two before this series is over. Come through game two, that series was everything. That, uh, that game was everything. Oh yeah, I think if he won game two, it probably would have been his series that day because first killer would have struggled to come back uh, from two down when Com's playing that well. Yeah, first killer is a really tough opponent as well. Uh, deserved win for him on the day. He was able to play better when it mattered most at the end of the series. Uh, speaking of end of the series, let's see who can play better between Ocelon and Breezy at the end of the series. It's another reverse sweep for Ocelon. Perfectly set up. Breezy here to play spoiler try and get the series win for the first time on the, in the live stream show match environment. Com said he plays Squishy a lot and beats him most of the time. I, I would be surprised by that, yeah, because I think Squishy's, what is he, like ranked 30 or 20 or something uh, in once when he plays. I don't know exactly what he is. Um, yeah, he just doesn't play enough to to really challenge the top guys in in ones these days. Although I don't know if playing ranked 1v1 is the best way to to train for show matches, if I'm honest with you guys. I think the the best way to prepare yourself for show matches is private private ones. You want to get those private games in with uh, with friends or with other high rated players. Because uh, it's totally different from ranks, completely different. Doing those, maybe on, I think maybe doing private ones on stream would be the best way to prepare for a show match because you're gonna get um, nervous from viewers watching, and you also get the series format. You know that or tournaments. Tournaments are also a really good way because first killer doesn't play any ranked ones. He's a good player to look at for this. Doesn't play pretty much any ranked ones, but he plays a lot of one beyond tournaments. So that's why he's such a beast in show matches. Free jump saved by Breezy, that's huge. He's already up by one goal here. He's he jumped over Ocelon's demo attempt as well. Decides not to play the ball here. Multiple bump attempts. Breezy connects with one. He's got a wide open net, and he's missed it off Breezy. He played it all so well. He got the setup he wanted. But he's missed another open net, and this one really does make a lot of difference because Ocelon is going to be scoring at the other end. And that could be the moment that we look back to the end of this series and think what could have been if this goes to a one goal game in Ocelon's favour Breezy's really going to wish that he scored that open net for his sake it better go really one sided either way now delayed flick set up fake though and into the aerial bump we go for Breezy this is the exact same setup as all of his flicks that he's been doing today he leans back into the ball. He just ended up forcing Ocelon away from the save in order to let the ball go in. Ocelon is in control of the following kickoff. Half volley. Breezy with another good save in the near post. This is looking a lot like his game one performance. Where he had plenty stops on the goal line. And he's dunked Ocelon. Point blank range, far post. What on earth? Breezy with no boost. He goes over the 12 pad just to get there in time. And he could see the whole way that he had that covered. Brilliant stuff by Breezy. Well, he's got his two lead, but two goal lead back. Should have been a two goal lead from an open net, but he worked for it much harder and more difficult path. And ended up getting it. A mom, a mom, thanks to the 13 month tier one. Welcome to, uh, to the stream, buddy. Breezy, gingerly, breezy, puppy, breezy, bunnies, breezy, puppy, breezy, bunnies, why, breezy, why joyful. Why is Flick um, censored? Um, <laughs> um, oh no, Brian. Um, He's also um, on another mind game goal, um, gets one back. Um, me versus Com. That would be a whole lot of me just getting styled on. There would be so many flip resets. We'd lose count. Kickoff goal for Breezy. It's another one. And there's definitely some... Uh, elements to this game that remind me of games one and also game two from this series which were the two games that Breezy was able to win so far he's got the goal line saves and a couple kickoff goals as well Ocelon's going to chip one over though and he continues to adapt his own offensive repertoire keep Breezy guessing there's mind games 
every now and then, little 50 50s, but just um, when Breezy gets conditioned to expect that, Ocelot flicks it over his head to remind him that he can go that way if he wants to. Breezy decided to catch it low, and he reads the rush challenge. Nicely done by Breezy. I thought when he decided to let this bounce that he was going to try and air dribble it, but he's gone early this time. And Ocelon was uh, expecting Breezy to wait for the bounce there. That's why he decided to challenge, because he thought, oh, well, I can get there before Breezy, so might as well just go. But Breezy was one step ahead. They're both mixing things up in offense really well in this last game. And the kickoff goals for Breezy are making this pretty tough for Ocelon. Still got half a game to go. He trails by three. 27 boost and ball control for Ocelon. Top corner flick attempted. Breezy's missed it, but it's gone wide. And Ocelon's missed the rebound. Don't know what that was about. It looked like Ocelon should have just been putting it on target. And then Breezy would have had to pre-jump to save it. This little bump there by Breezy just to make sure that he could get to the ball first. It was the backflip flick after a full rotation. Ocelon catches the ball, but gets taken out for his trouble. And it's another open net for Breezy. And another one which he's missed, but dunks it in afterwards. Just here to remind and everyone Ocelot is down by four. Will get you a girlfriend. W so, Tammy, you're absolutely right. Uh, I can't agree more. Cheers for 500 bits, by the way. And uh, thanks for gifting or giving 10 people in the chat rewards. Um, what are the rewards? These have been out for ages. I still don't know what they are. These rewards that you get when people cheer. I actually don't know what they are still. Even though I'm a full time streamer, by the way. Savage Sunny, thanks for the 11 month Twitch Prime. Welcome back. How you doing? Let's see if Ocelon can find a way back into this one. It's the kickoff goals that have extended the lead. But even without them, Breezy would still be up by two. And then you remember he's missed an open net, which resulted in Ocelon scoring at the other end of the field. So it has been Breezy dominating in this last game. And that is impressive against a player like Ocelon, who's reverse swept many times in the past. And Ocelon's tried to get past Breezy in the midfield. Ends up out of boost, out of position, and out of pocket, another goal. Six goal difference now. Luckily for Ocelon, there's not a kickoff goal this time, directly at least. But it's more pressure for Breezy. Bump on the back wall doesn't really do anything to Breezy. It's more unfortunate circumstances for Ocelon. To Breezy misses his turn. He's just going to run the ball around the field. He doesn't need more goals. He's just going to try and knock the time off the clock. Get his first ever show match win on stream. Last chance, really, for Ocelon. He's got it past Breezy, but Breezy's back too quick. And that might be the play that confirms the win in the game. Finally, Breezy scores an open net as well. And that is a seven goal differential. Somehow, Breezy has saved the best to last. I really did expect Ocelon to have the stronger finish, but it was Breezy who was able to go back to that game one play. Just getting lots of goal line saves. And Ocelon's kickoff has been a disaster. You know what? You can, you can put an element of this down to, you know, just a good matchup in the kickoff for Breezy. But you also have to, you know, shake your head at Ocelon because you should never be conceding that many kickoff goals in a series, no matter how good your opponent's kickoff is. There were fake kickoffs, delayed kickoffs, um, completely unused, underutilized for Ocelon in this last game. And there was very few switch ups on his approach as well. He's just gone very straight and standard every time. So I would have liked to see more change ups from Ocelon in that regard. But congratulations to Breezy, looking good in uh, game five, but at game two, particularly impressive. He's able to turn it around with a flip reset. And without that, he would have lost this series 3-1. So congrats to him in his first ever show match victory on stream. Arslan says GG's and bails out of this one. It was very interesting back and forth between these two. Um, Zap Rose Dower, thanks to the brand new Prime. Welcome to the stream. Um, like I said before, uh, I've got another 1v1 show match coming up right now, by the way, in case anybody's wondering what's happening next. Um, 
But thanks to Austin and Breezy for putting on that that one for us. It was very interesting. Sorry, I haven't been around much this week. Got in a pretty serious car wreck on Tuesday when someone pulled out in front of me when I had the right of way. Totaled my car. Despite how bad the impact was, I miraculously walked away with nothing more than some bruises and soreness. Thank you providing quality content to cheer me up during stressful times. Jeez. Love you, Johnny. Cheer 250. Someone pulled up in front when I had the right away, totaled the car. That's scary, man. That's scary. Well, glad to hear you walked away. That is that is really scary. I had no idea. Uh, but yeah, you're welcome, Doug. Thanks for 500 bits, by the way. I really appreciate that. And hopefully all is well with you. Are you, like, uh, fully mentally recovered from that? Because that's got to be pretty shocking. Um, if not, hopefully you'll be 100%.